Here's an example of a problem with current and resistance. In a laboratory, solid copper rods are used to carry large currents. Current flows from a section with a diameter of 4 cm to a section with a diameter of 1 cm. You measure that the potential difference across a 2 meter segment of the bigger section of the rod is 13.4 millivolts. What is the potential difference across a 1 meter segment of the smaller section of the rod, so the one that has a diameter of 1 centimeter? And compare the speed of the electrons in the smaller and in the bigger section of the rod. The resistivity of copper is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 9 ohm meter. The number of charge carriers per unit of volume for copper is 8.49 times 10 to the 28 electrons per meter cubed. The first thing to do is, as always, to draw a diagram and to add all the information to our picture. Especially in this problem, we were given the diameter of the sections we should use the radius when we do our calculations. So for the one centimeter diameter section, the radius is half a centimeter. And for the section with a diameter of four centimeters, the diameter is two centimeters. The first thing to do will be to find out how much current is flowing tr through that rod. Because the two segments are in series, they will have the same current through them. So the current in the large portion, which has a diameter of 4 centimeters and is 2 meters long, will be the same as the current in the small section, which is 1 meter long and has a diameter of only 1 centimeter. So to find the current, I'm going to use Ohm's law. I know that the potential difference across the 2 meter segment is given by the resistance multiplied by the current, and I know that that is 13.4 millivolts. I can find the resistance of the 2 meter segment by using rho multiplied by L over A. The resistivity of copper is 1.69 times 10 to the negative 9 ohm meters, which I'm going to multiply by the length of 2 meters, and divide by the area of the wire, which will be pi multiplied by r squared, so pi multiplied by 0 0.02 squared. And that gives me a resistance of 2.70 times 10 to the negative 6 ohms. Now that I have the resistance, I can find the current, which is simply voltage divided by resistance, 13.4 millivolts divided by 2.70 micro ohms, which gives me 5,000 amperes. That's a huge current! But we were told that this took place in a lab and that the currents were large. And we are not dealing with our usual current carrying wires. So it's okay. Now let's find the resistance of the 1 meter segment. Once again using rho L over A. Resistivity 1.69 times 10 to the negative 9 multiplied by the 1 meter length divided by the area of the rod, pi times the radius, half a centimeter squared. And we get 21.5 microohms. This makes the potential difference across the 1 meter segment, 5,000 amperes, multiplied by the 21.5 microohms, 108 millivolts. Now let's compare the speed of the charge carriers in the two segments of wire. For this, we will use current is equal to charge multiplied by number of charge carriers per unit of volume multiplied by area multiplied by drift velocity. And we're going to solve for the drift velocity. So we get VD is equal to I over QNA. To compare, we will calculate the ratio of the two drift velocities. Take I over QNA1, divide by I over QNA2, which is equivalent to I over QNA1 multiplied by QNA2 over I. Now remember, in the two segments of the rod, the current is the same, so those two currents cancel, and both rods are made of copper. So the charge of the charge carrier Q cancels, 
and the number of charge carriers per unit of volume, n, cancels also. We get that the drift velocity in the 1 meter segment is equal to a2 over a1 multiplied by the drift velocity in the 2 meter segment. The second area is pi multiplied by 2 centimeters squared and the first area is pi multiplied by half a centimeter squared. Of course, the pi's cancel. The result is that the drift velocity in the 1 meter segment is 16 times bigger than the drift velocity in the 2 meter segment. That seems a bit big. Let's do a little bit of checking. The drift velocity of the electrons in the 1 meter segment of wire is given by current divided by charge multiplied by number of charge carriers per unit of volume and divided by area which is 5,000 divided by 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 multiplied by 8.49 times 10 to the 28 multiplied by 0 0.005 squared multiplied by pi and that is 4.7 millimeters per second which is still quite slow and quite reasonable for the drift velocity of electrons which we know to be in the millimeter per second range well, my work here is done. Here is what the solution looks like on two pages. And spread the joy of physics!